block. He wouldn't have went down there had I been hit. Berto staggered again. Yeah. Straight left hand by Ortiz. It's not quite come yet. Oh, oh another wow. Joseph right hand wow. sends Joshua down. By Maidana, that sticks another right hand. Andre Berto versus Victor Ortiz. On April 16, 2011, undefeated WBC welterweight champion Andre Berto defended his title against Victor Ortiz. Berto, a bronze medalist at the 2003 World Amateur Boxing Championship, was coming off a first round TKO victory over Mexican challenger Freddy Hernandez in his fifth title defense to improve his record to 27-0 with 21 knockouts. Ortiz, on the other hand, came into the bout with a record of 28-2-2 with 22 knockouts. His first career loss was a disqualification loss to unknown Corey Alarcon in 2005. Four years later, he faced future world champion Marcos Maidana for the vacant WBA interim light welterweight title. Ortiz floored Maidana three times, but the dangerous Argentine won the fight by TKO in round six. With the right hand that he won't stop throwing it. Ortiz is in big trouble and he goes down. His last bout was a maturity draw against Lamont Peterson. Touch him up now, good luck to both of you. Although Ortiz floored Peterson twice in the third round, he was able to recover and win the middle and late rounds to make the fight close on the scorecards. It winds up being called a majority draw. Ortiz took the fight to Berto as soon as the opening bell rang. Midway through the first round, Ortiz connected with a combination that sent Berto to the canvas. Berto staggered again. Straight left hand by Ortiz. But Berto recovered quickly and returned the favor late in the second round with a hard right to the chin. All of Ortiz's punches are very There's the right hand again. From the third round, Ortiz took control of the fight with his relentless pressure and accurate punches. But Berto fired back as he tried to keep up with the pace. And Peter twice. Now he lands the right hand. The fight took a turn in the sixth round when Berto dropped Ortiz with a huge right hand. The distinction for you. <laughs> Down goes Ortiz. Ortiz got up and scored a knockdown of his own moments later. The second half of the bout saw both fighters go toe-to-toe, -to -toe, with Ortiz getting the better of the exchanges. A point was deducted from Ortiz in round 10 for punching Berto behind the head, but he was ahead on all the scorecards and he won the bout by a unanimous decision. For your winner, by unanimous decision, and new WBC welterweight champion of the world. Vicious Victor Ortiz. Berto got another shot at a world title in his next fight against Jan Zavek. He won the bout after five rounds to become the new IBF welterweight champion. IBF welterweight champion of the world, Andre Berto. Ortiz, however, lost the WBC title in his first defense against Floyd Mayweather Jr. In 2016, Berto and Ortiz met in a rematch, with Berto avenging his first loss by way of a fourth round knockout. Arthur Abraham vs. Edison Miranda on September 23, 2006, Arthur Abraham made the third defense of his IBF middleweight title against Edison Miranda. Both fighters came into the bout with unbeaten records, the champion at 21-0 and Edison Miranda at 26-0. Abraham became the IBF champion in December 2005 after defeating Kingsley Ikenke via a fifth-round TKO. He made two successful defenses, with the most recent one coming against Kofi Jed Tua, which he won by a unanimous decision in May 2006. <laughs> Heading into this bout, Miranda faced Howard Eastman in an IBF title eliminator. He won the fight by technical knockout in round 7 
to become the mandatory challenger for Abraham's title. The bout started at a fast pace, with Miranda coming forward with big swings while Abraham worked behind a high guard. Although he's not afraid to mix it up. Abraham pounded Miranda through the early rounds until the end of round four, when the challenger caught him with a right hand that landed flush on the jaw. And he's trying to weather this storm for the last minute of this round. A vicious straight right hand that sent Miranda's head snapping back. The result was a broken jaw, which became worse as the fight progressed. In round five, Miranda intentionally headbutted Abraham, which resulted in two points being deducted from his scores. Greg, 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 your head. Your head. The heads come together, a clash of heads. Miranda, however, continued to fight dirty, and three extra points were deducted again in round seven and eleven for low blows. Fight of his life, the biggest fight of his career. Him up, him up, Big right hand. Despite the visibly broken jaw of Abraham that was now swollen, he continued to fight gamely throughout the fight. His tenacity and the point deductions from Miranda gave him the lead on all the scorecards, and he was able to retain his title after 12 rounds via a unanimous decision victory. And there's the bell. The fight is over. Middleweight champion of the world, King Arthur Abraham. In June 2008, the two men met in a rematch, but Abraham won decisively via a fourth round technical knockout. Abraham moved to the super middleweight division, where he won the world title twice. Miranda also moved to the super middleweight division, but unsuccessfully challenged for a world title against the IBF champion Lucian Boudet in 2010. There's, he didn't trash talk leading up to the fight, but there he goes! Oh. A short punch inside! Arturo Gatti versus Wilson Rodriguez on March 23, 1996, Arturo Gatti made the first defense of his IBF junior lightweight title against Wilson Rodriguez. Gatti became the new IBF champion after defeating Tracy Harris Patterson in his previous bout by a unanimous decision, and his record at the time was 24 1 with 20 knockouts. Rodriguez, on the other hand, was making his American debut, and his professional record coming into the fight was 43 wins with 24 knockouts seven losses, and three draws. The bout started at a fast pace, with Rodriguez controlling the action in the opening round with his fast and sharp hands. Which is not really good for him. And Gotti's got a huge mouse under his left eye, and it's swelling already, and that's the product of those lead right hands by Rodriguez. In round two, Gotti's eyes were swollen, and Rodriguez dropped him to the canvas with a short left hand to the jaw. Big job coming up. Gotti goes down on a short left hook inside, and he didn't see it coming. Gaddy got up from the canvas and fought back hard, but Rodriguez was unfazed by the champion's power. The third round saw Gaddy come back to stun the challenger with multiple hard shots. That's one thing you have to always worry about in a young fighter. He's showing his will. But Rodriguez answered every punch that Gaddy threw. In round five, Gatti was docked a point for a low blow, but a few seconds later, he landed a devastating body shot that sent Rodriguez to the canvas. Both fighters landed more than 60% of their blows in round oh, four. Oh, there's a there's shot! A contact here, and Rodriguez goes down from a body shot. However, the challenger was far from done as he gave Gatti a tough fight until the end of the round. Gatti came out in round six looking for a knockdown, and he ended the fight with a single punch. Down goes Rodriguez. He won't make it up from that. No way. Arturo Gatti with a power shot. 
Gaddy went on to become a world champion in the super lightweight division before he retired in 2007 with a record of 40 and 9. Rodriguez retired in 1999 with a record of 48 wins, 11 losses, and 3 draws. Marcus Maidana vs. Adrian Broner On December 14, 2013, hard hitting Argentine Marcos Maidana challenged Adrian Broner for his WBA welterweight title. The former super lightweight champion Maidana came into this bout with a record of 34 and 3 with 31 knockouts. In his last fight, he defeated welterweight contender Jose Cito Lopez by a technical knockout in the sixth round. Broner came into this bout as a three-division world champion with an unbeaten record of 27-0 with 22 knockouts. He defeated Pauli Malignani by a split decision in June 2013 to win the welterweight title. From the opening round, Maidana came forward and landed some vicious punches to the body and the head of the challenger. Down in his career, a couple of left hooks to the body by Maidana, a couple of right uppercuts, the last one just crazy. In the second round, Maidana continued to press the action and dropped Broner for the first time in his professional career. By Maidana, that sticks another right hand. Broner goes down for the first time. Broner found his pace in the middle rounds, but Maidana continued his relentless attack throughout the fight. Maidana. And Steve, what do you think? In round eight, Maidana sent Broner to the canvas for the second time with a hard left hand, oh. Oh. Oh, the the but got a point deducted moments later for intentional headbutting. Coming into the 12th round, Maidana was leading comfortably on all the scorecards as both fighters went toe to toe in what was one of the displays of the night. Maidana won the fight by a unanimous decision to become the new champion. Maidana. Maidana fought only two times after this fight, losing both to Floyd Mayweather Jr. He retired with a record of 35 wins and 5 losses. Broner bounced back after the loss and went on to defeat Khabib al in 2015 to win the WBA light welterweight title, thus becoming a four-division world champion. Klitschko vs. Joshua On April 29, 2017, former unified heavyweight champion Vladimir Klitschko challenged British star Anthony Joshua for his IBF heavyweight title, as well as the vacant WBA and IBO titles. Klitschko, a 1996 Olympic gold medalist, dominated the heavyweight division for several years and defended his world title successfully 18 consecutive times before losing to Tyson Fury via unanimous decision in November 2015. Tyson! He was out of the ring for nearly two years before his fight against Anthony Joshua. The IBF champion Anthony Joshua was also an Olympic gold medalist. He quickly rose through the professional ranks and became a world champion in 2016 after defeating Charles Martin. A minute 40 left in this second round. And he's down again on the break here. His last defense of the title was against former world challenger Eric Molina whom he defeated via technical knockout in round three to retain the title. Well, we saw the effects of Molina does not want to be in here now. The fight's over. Stop! Coming into the bout, Klitschko had a record of 64-4, and four, while Joshua was undefeated in 18 bouts. The fight started tentatively in the opening rounds as Klitschko worked behind the jab to keep Joshua from displaying his explosive power. But in round five, the bout exploded as Joshua floored the former champion with a flurry of punches. Oh, another good he's shot. Trouble trouble here. He's, he's down. down. Oh, he's down. Klitschko gamely got back to his feet and dominated the remainder of the round before returning the favor in round six. It's not quite come yet. Oh, oh another wow, right hand wow. sends Joshua. 
Joshua down. Joshua survived the first knockdown of his career, but struggled to land any meaningful punch until the 11th round when a right uppercut rocked Klitschko. Oh, he didn't. Massive shot from Joshua, oh, and now Klitschko goes. This was the beginning of the end for Klitschko as Joshua floored him twice in the 11th round to force a stoppage. Here. Can't get free. Joshua unloading, and that'll do it. Oh. Shortly after the fight, Klitschko announced his retirement from boxing with a record of 64 and 5. Joshua went on to add the WBO title to his IBF and WBA crowns in 2018, but lost his championship a year later to Andy Ruiz Jr. Joshua reclaimed the crown in an immediate rematch, but lost it once again to Klitschko compatriot Alexander Usyk in 2021. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe to this channel and turn on the post notifications so that you'll be the first to know when we upload a new video.